Welcome to Vibrational Revelations. I'm Elena. I am Alejandro. And thank you so much for being a part of the Vibrational Revelations community. We appreciate all of your questions, your feedback, and please make sure that you download the Vibrational Frequencies of Awakening chart with the link posted below. There's actually going to be quite a few links we'll be sharing with you. Uh, today's episode is an extremely important topic. All the topics we talk about are important, but this is really concerning the future of humanity. The topic is surveillance and human genomics agenda. How our DNA is being harvested, harvested how your DNA is being harvested to most likely create the most controlled surveillance on this planet. And hopefully, as a result of it, you'll be able to contact people that you know, you know, either physicians, practitioners, your legislator, legislators, because this is such an important topic. And uh, we believe that if all of us unite and speak against it, there's absolutely a lot of regulations that need to happen in order for this not to move forward, in order for this agenda not to move forward, although we think it's already unfolding in a big way. To get out of hand, right? To get out of hand. Mm -hmm. So there's a big event that's happening next week, October, I believe, 28th in San Diego, California. It is called Illumina Genomics Foundation. Now, some of the speakers we will be listing for you, but some of the speakers we have revealed in the past, so please make sure that you reference those speakers. Number one is former President Barack Obama. The second one is Bill Gates. We've done two episodes on Bill Gates. So again, please, please make sure that you reference those episodes going back. So now let's begin with Illumina, and it's spelled I-L-L-U-M-I-N-A. Um, and we're going to reveal to you the frequencies of Illumina Technologies and the frequencies of Illumina Genomics Foundation. Mm -hmm. So apparently it's something that is being held every year. Now this project, this initiative, it's supposedly they call it the precision medicine. It, it started on during 2015 under President Obama's administration. So he was the one that actually approved this. And this is also very important of when this whole project began. So I'm going to read to you what they claim on their website is the goal. The Illumina, our goal is to apply innovative technology to the analysis of genetic variation and function, making studies possible that were not even imaginable just a few years ago. It is mission critical for us to deliver innovative, flexible, and scalable solutions to meet the needs of our customers. As a global company that places high value on collaborative interactions, rapid delivery of solutions, and providing the highest level of quality, we strive to meet this challenge. Illumina innovative se um, sequencing and array technology, so this is referencing uh, your genetics, right, uh, are fueling groundbreaking and advancements in life science research, translational and consumer genomics and molecular diagnostics. Up until this point, cancer is still very much on the rise, autoimmune diseases are on the rise. So, you know, my biggest question is, what is the point of all of these technologies if nothing has been solved until this point? Okay, it's a big question you have to ask. So to reveal to you uh, the Illumina Genomics Forum, the overall vibrational frequency, again, this is on a scale from zero to 1000 is 50. In this case, for a company, that means it's a frequency of manipulation. Okay, impact on human perception is 50. Alignment, okay, so then we read clarity. So now we're going into percentages, how clear they are about their mission. It's 100%. How transparent they are with what they're sharing with public, 39%, right? So not, not very transparent. Alignment with divine purpose, 60%. Alignment with its mission, 93%. So this is also how close they are to fulfilling their mission, their goal right? 93%. Alignment, we also read with Orion Group. This is going to be a very important indication in today's revelations. As you will see, this is a true soul gathering event that is happening on a yearly basis of all of these minds. 
Um, the alignment with the Ryan group of Illumina Genomics Forum is 100%. Alignment with hermetic principles, this is something we also include, is 60%. And alignment with Hippocratic Oath, because many of the speakers are physicians, and we wanted to know that based on all the doctors who take Hippocratic Oath not to hurt another human being, right? It's at 51% overall. So way out of alignment with Hippocratic Oath, which is a huge question mark of why this is here to begin with. And one of the biggest existential threats to humanity is harvesting of our data. It is harvesting of our genes. And actually, uh, we're going to give you, the next one will be a revelation on 23andMe. I know years ago, I knew nothing about it. I took the test probably seven or eight years ago. I absolutely regret doing it. We did not include in today's reading, by the way, Ancestry.com. But 23andMe uh, will give you quite an insight into the data collection and harvesting of all of our genetic content. Yes, and uh, their intention in how they are it's going unbelievable. to yeah. uh, utilize the information they have gathered right up to this point, and they continue to gather. <laughs> 23 and me, the overall vibrational frequency is 30. Mm -hmm. This is from zero to 1,000. Impact on human perception, 50. Clarity, 100%. Transparency, 19%. One nine. Mm -hmm. Integrity, this is how loyal and faithful they are to their core values and beliefs, to the truth, is 78%. Integrity to self or to themselves, 100%. Integrity to others, 15%, one five. Alignment with surveillance, surveillance agenda, 100%. Well, that's the one I also didn't mention that this Illumina Genomics Forum also was 100% in alignment with the surveillance agenda. That means collecting your data in order in the future mm -hmm. to, to monitor you, monitor. control you, yes, track you. Aligning with divine purpose. 29%. Aligning with its mission, 100%. Aligning with hermetic principles, 19%. One nine. And aligning with Orion Group, 100%. So there's absolutely a pattern. So now let's go into Dr. Alex Aravanis. A-R-A-V-A-N-I-S, MD, PhD. He joined Illumina in June of 2020, currently serves as a senior vice president and chief technology officer. Uh, in his role, he's responsible for research technology development functions. He developed multiple technologies, including clinical assays for the analysis of RNA and DNA from fixed tissues, whole exome analysis, massively parallel single cell trans uh, transcriptomics, and liquid biopsy using cell-free nucleic acid. So before I reveal the frequencies, there's also a pattern that you guys are going to recognize in all of them, because as we call are calling all the people that we're revealing to, this is an absolute soul gathering and celebration for them that's coming up. This is a, a massive, massive alert to uh, hopefully to humanity. You know, we can only reach as many people as watch this uh, revelations. This is based on vibrational frequencies, but the numbers speak the truth. They show what is. Uh, so therefore, we felt it was extremely important that we reveal this information to you. But the couple of things that you'll see as a pattern is very specific numbers, overall frequencies, of course, but the IQ, right? So this is a gathering of the minds, okay? Mm -hmm. SQ also, and egos. So you'll see that in a moment. Alex Aravanis, overall vibrational frequency from zero to 1,000 is 50 disassociation. He incarnated at the frequency of 50 and was born at the frequency of 50. Health he views through the lens of 50. I find it fascinating, you know, uh, people who are in this realm of supposedly helping humanity, helping human beings, having a vibrational frequency of 50 in health. 
connection to mind is 125, this constant unfulfilled desire, right? This addictive patterns with thinking process. Relationship to body is 20, there's destructive patterns. Um, connection to soul is also 20. So there is massive disconnect, massive resistance from zero to 1000. You can imagine there is a gap of 980 points connection to soul, right? Finances he views through the lens of 50. Creativity, 50. I said to Alejandro, my gosh, it's like, it's, it's just amazing to see how these people can achieve such high uh, education, right? So much education, but yet they create from these lower vibrational frequencies. Relationships he views through the lens of 50. Personal growth, 50. This is a very consistent Consistent person with absolute mastery. We would call it a master at his frequency. Philanthropy, 50. Intuition, 50. Under intuition, all four aspects are 50. Clear audience, clear sentience, clairvoyance, and clear cognizance. So this is the part I just referenced, IQ. So he views his intellect or information through the lens of 400. So very high frequency mind, right? Perhaps this is why... Uh, there's a lot of the people today that we're revealing that went to medical schools, got their PhDs, you know, they have many, many, many degrees because of the high IQ level. EQ, emotional intelligence, which is far more superior than your intellect. In his case, for Alex, it's a frequency of 20, which is destructive patterns. SQ, social quotient, that means in a lot of cases, when people are public figures or they're on stage or they're speakers, you oftentimes see the, these frequencies of 400, which is exactly what he has. So he's very comfortable speaking on stage. AQ, what happens in case of adversity? What information, what frequency gets triggered? And it's a frequency of 20, again, out of 1,000. Very destructive patterns. In the joy, how much does he enjoy playing his role? Remember, he incarnated at 50, born at 50. His overall frequency is 50, and he enjoys his role as a shadow awakener, right? He is the, what do we call them now? The great, great awakener at the frequency of 100. I hope today's episode, by the way, wakes you up and shakes you to the core to contact, really make contact with your legislators. And, and discuss and, and bring this to the forefront. In the ego, how much he is influenced by his ego, 100%, and out of that 100% is the superior ego. In the now, how present he is for his experience, 100%. <clears throat> integrity, 88%. Integrity to himself, 100%. Integrity to others, 71%. Self-awareness, 100%. This person is an absolute master. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. So you might be asking a question right now. How is it possible that these people are at frequencies where they're at with alignment with divine purpose, 100%? And that is why we're calling them the great awakeners. They're here to wake you up, to stand up, to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. To create enough contrast <clears throat> where you have you no just... choice but open your eyes and participate. In, in the creating, opposite of what they're doing. The opposite, exactly. Yes. Yes. Compassion. How compassionate is this guy? 51%. Empathy, 74%. Energy purity. How aligned he is with his mm -hmm. frequency. How much does he embody that frequency of 50? And it is at 100%. There's two more things we included for this particular um, vibration revelations episode today. Alignment with Orion Group. How much is this guy aligned with Orion Group? 100%. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath. And the reason this is important is, as I said earlier, as a physician, you take a Hippocratic Oath not to hurt another human being. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath for Alex is 40 six percent that's that on my end mm -hmm. you're next <laughs> next is javier de echevarria he's from madrid spain is an executive and entrepreneur with more than two decades of experience in the human diagnostics industry 
His career has developed mainly in the health sector, particularly in the field of innovation in medical and genetic diagnostics. This is not even a physician. This is just mm -hmm. an entrepreneur in, yes. in the field of medicine. In 2018, he co-founded Veritas Intercontinental. It's a, a spin-off of, from Veritas Genetics. And um, well, he's now the CEO of the company. We're going to also read or reveal the numbers of the company. So Javier de Echevarria, his overall frequency is 50. He incarnated at the frequency of 50, and he was born at the frequency of 50. So it means that he, there's no doubt that he came here to uh, play the role as a great awakener, right? Mm -hmm. When it comes to health, he views health through the lens of 20. Uh, his mind or his connection to mind is 20. His connection to body is 50 and his connection to soul is 20. Finances, 50. Creativity, 20. Relationships, 20. Personal growth, 50. Philanthropy, 20. Intuition, 50. And under intuition, he has clear audience at 50, clear sentience at 20, clairvoyance at 20, and clairvo uh, claircognizance at 50. Mm. Under IQ, he has 310. EQ, the emotional quotient, is 20. SQ, social quotient, is 250. And AQ, the adversary quotient, is 20. In the joy, as of how much he's enjoying the role that he's playing in this reality as Javier de Echevarria, and is 100%. In the ego, how much he pays attention to information, to thought, <laughs> is 100%. And out of that 100%, 100% of that is the superior version of the ego. In the now, how much time he experiences the present moment or he's in the present moment, in the now is 100%. So he's fully present. Lots Obviously, of masters the, here we have today. Master, yeah. master of the, uh, the level of consciousness that mm -hmm. he came here to, to play, right? To experience. Integrity how loyal and faithful he is to his core values and beliefs, 100%. Integrity to self, 100%. And integrity to others is 45%. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 99%. Alignment with divine purpose, 92%. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. We also measured alignment with Orion Group, 100%. By the way, Orion Group is well known for uh, the desire to control, manipulate, um, in order to really increase, enslave humanity. Increase their so, power yeah. over, over humanity, right? And we revealed Orion Group actually last year. So if you're interested in seeing that episode, definitely. Uh, Join the Vibration Revelations vibration. membership site. Yes. yes. Aligning with Hippocratic Oath is 34%. Just lovely. All right. Under Compassion, mm. 63%. Empathy, 86%. Energy Purity, 100%. And often we have recognized as a pattern that when the person has 100% in the ego and then 100% of that is in the superior version of the ego with low numbers of compassion, like in the case of Javier, 63% under compassion, that really um, signifies or give you, gives you a good indication that this person has narcissistic mm -hmm. tendencies if it's not really a full-blown narcissist, right? And just energy purity, 100%, which means that he's embodying the level of uh, 50 
uh, to the or fullest. The frequency of 50 <laughs> to the fullest, right? That's why he is 100% in the now, 100% in self awareness as well. Uh, now, we also, company. yes, read the frequencies of Veritas Interna Intercontinental, which is the company where he's the CEO and he co founded the company in 2018. Yes. The overall frequency is 50. Impact on human perception, 50. Clarity, 95%. Transparency, 37%. Again, another low, low one with transparency. What are they doing with our genetic information, right? Integrity, 58%. Mm. Integrity to self, 100%. Integrity to others, 49%. Excuse me. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 65%. Alignment with Surveillance Agenda, 100%. Alignment with Divine Purpose, 38%. Alignment with its mission, the company's mission, is 97%. Alignment with hermetic principles, 38%. Alignment with Orion Group, 100%. Yeah, all right. Amy Compton Phillips, she's another speaker at this uh, event coming up, formerly with Providence. She's an MD responsible for health care, value outcomes delivered by the 22 hospitals, 1,000. 85 clinics, 120,000 caregivers of the 25 billion health system. So she has a big, quite a big pull with whatever she does or says. Mm -hmm. Supposedly, she led treatments of the first confirmed case of COVID-19 uh, in the United States and has been um, confirmed oh, and has been, let's see, in Providence's early adoption and scaling of technology that is critical to the future of healthcare. So let's find out what her frequencies are and really what is her intention, right? So her overall frequency is 50. She was incarnated at the frequency of 50 and born at the frequency of 50. We did mention it's gonna be a, a soul gathering, right? Uh, this coming upcoming week, it's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. She views health at the frequency of 50. Imagine somebody who views health, who is responsible for you know, so many clinics, so many 120,000 caregivers. I mean, this is just mind blowing, right? 25 billion healthcare system. She views health through the lens of 50. Mind connection, 50, body connection, 50, soul connection, also 50, mastery. Finances, 125. Creativity, 50. Relationships, 50. Personal growth, 50. Philanthropy, 50. Intuition, 50. All four aspects of intuition are 50. Clairaudience, clairsentience, clairvoyance, and claircognizance are 50. Wow. IQ, 400, another 400. So this brilliant, right, mind. Uh, EQ, 50. Emotional quotient, right? SQ, so she's very much ruled by her mind. Uh, emo and then SQ, social quotient. She's obviously comfortable speaking on stage. The so frequency of 400. AQ adversity quotient 50. She enjoys her role 98%. So most of the people we're revealing today are having a blast. In the ego, 100%. And out of that, 100% superior ego. You know what? This is actually an invitation for you guys to have a blast too. We're giving you permission to have fun, to be yourselves. In the now, 98%. I mean, these people don't need a permission. They're at 50 and they're having a blast. Integrity, 61%. Integrity to herself, 99%. Integrity to others, 50%. Self-awareness, 96%. Clarity, clarity about her path, right? 95%. She's aligned with her divine purpose, 100%. I wish that for every one of you to be aligned 100% with your divine purpose. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 81%. Empathy, 90%. Energy purity, how much does she embody the frequency of 50? 100%. Alignment with 
Hippocratic Oath. So this is a physician, right? Who's in charge of all these healthcare providers, all these clinics, 73%. Alignment with the Ryan Group, 100%. So you, got, you guys are seeing, right, right now, a, a very specific pattern that is unfolding and frequencies reveal it with such beautiful clarity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's definitely, without a doubt, a common denominator. Yes. J Next is Jay Wolgemoth. Yes, it's the last name. It spells W O H L G E M U T H. Okay. He is the senior vice president. He's an MD, first of all. And then a senior vice president of R&D, medical and chief medical officer for Quest Diagnostics. So I'm sure people who live in the U.S. Mm -hmm. have gone and had their blood drawn, right, by Quest, Quest Laboratories. Mm -hmm. Yes, he has many years of experience in medical diagnostics and in research and development. He rejoined Quest in 2016 from HealthTap, a health information startup where he served as senior vice president and chief healthcare officer. Mm -hmm. The overall frequency of Jay Wolgemoth from Quest uh, Labs or Quest uh, Diagnostics is 50. He incarnated at the frequency of 50 and was born at the frequency of 50. He views health through the lens of 50 his connection to mind, 125, connection to body, 50, connection to soul, 20. Finances, 50, creativity, 50, relationships, 50, personal growth, 50, philanthropy, 50, intuition, 50. Master. Huh? Under intuition, all four. Categories, uh, clear audience, clear sentience, clear voice, and clear cognizance at 50. And this again doesn't uh, mean that he's not intuitive. You were not measuring how intuitive the person is, is the relationship and the, the filters that get activated when the uh, intuitive insights come through the person, right? And that determines how they utilize that information, how they share it, how they incorporate it into their lives. You know, one thing I just want to say, which is so sad in this situation is we have brilliant minds here, right? So these brilliant minds with IQs of 400, okay, can be used for the good or for the evil. And unfortunately it is not being used for the good. So we're hoping that enough brilliant minds on the other side are going to come out with all of our supports and demand that it is used for the good. Mm -hmm. Under IQ, Jay has 400. Again, it says, you know, uh, above average, yes. EQ, the emotional quotient is, is 20. That's also another very uh, common pattern. <laughs> SQ, social quotient, that is 400. And AQ, adversity quotient, is 20. In the joy, 100%. In the ego, 100%. And 100% of that is a superior version of the ego. In the now, 100%. Integrity, 88%. Integrity to self, 100%, and integrity to others, 71%. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 100%. These are very uh, common numbers that indicate that the person is really uh, at a master level when it comes to, in this case, his frequency of 50, mm -hmm. right? Or the level mm -hmm. of consciousness of 50. Aligning with divine purpose. We compare this to self-realization. And for this person, it's 100%. Aligning with personal purpose. We compare that to self-actualization, more, more as of the, their sense of fulfillment, what the personal self wants to experience. And it's also 100%. Aligning with Orion group, 
100%, aligning with Hippocratic Oath, 47%. I mean, it's, I think it's extremely important, right? It's sort of uh, like if we were to measure a Supreme Court judge and we say that um, how truthful they are to, to others, and they are at uh, below 50% or 50%, you know, that is not a good thing because they're supposed to be fully aligned with, with uh, the law and fully in, in full integrity with what they share with, with the public, right? Compassion, 51%. Empathy, 74%. Energy purity, 100%. And again, that signifies that J is embodying the frequency of 50 to the fullest. Mm -hmm. right? Next person is Carolina Lopez Correa. Uh, she has an experience in both academic and private sectors, understanding of genomics innovation. Uh, let's see, she has her medical degree, so she's a physician also master's degree in human genetics and PhD in medical biosciences. So quite educated, right? And she is in charge. Let me just see. Yes, innovation. Okay, so impact. She has championed several initiatives aimed at demonstrating the impact of genomics and innovation in developing countries. And she's in charge of Genome Canada. Yeah, so I'll be revealing to you both Gino Canada and Catalina Lopez Correa. So her overall vibrational frequency is 50. She incarnated at the frequency of 50 and was born at the frequency of 50. She views health through the lens of 50, mind 125, body 50, soul connection 20, finances through the lens of 125, very interesting, right? Very, in some cases, it's like money driven. Creativity, 50. Relationship, 50. Personal growth, 50. Philanthropy, 50. Intuition, 50. And all four aspects of intuition are also 50. IQ, here we go again, 400. So again, brilliant mind could be used for something so powerful and amazing. EQ, 50. SQ, social quotient, 400. And AQ, adversity quotient, 50. She enjoys her role 96%. Again, another one having a blast. In the ego, 100% out of that 100% superior. Again, just as a reminder, superior ego refers to, I know it all, there's nothing to learn, I'm it, right? Which is, I would say, in a way, it could be a good thing, right? It gives you confidence and certainty that you uh, believe 100% in, in the information that you have, you have acquired. Well, that's that perhaps why been, these people are successful. It has been proven to work or not work, right? But but then tied with other numbers is what turns it into it uh, for them to have a total different perspective and a different way of processing the information that it yes. is coming. But I would say it's probably yes. contributing to their success. Although success is not measured by the ego necessarily. Mm -hmm. uh, in the now, 98%, so very present for her experience. Integrity, 89%. Integrity to herself, 97%. Integrity to others, 76%. Self-awareness, 95%. Clarity, 100%. So again, a master. We're speaking about a master. Alignment with divine purpose, 100%. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 64%. Empathy, 84%. Energy purity, 100%. So again, she's embodying the 50 frequency at 100%. Alignment with Orion Group, 100%. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 57%. Again, this is another person who has a huge pool. <clears throat> On a global scale, all the people, by the way, we're revealing to you, they're all contributing to the same pool of data, right? This is, you know, the biggest existential threat to us is the artificial intelligence and what is contributing to it. And those who will have power and who do have power moving forward are the ones that, that will have and collect the biggest data. So these people are all contributing to the pool of data collection based on your genome and your patterns under the pretense of health 
Right, to supporting uh, yeah. the well-being of the human collective, mm -hmm. right? Which technology could be also used for that in, in, in many ways. What I find fascinating, none of these people are speaking about truly how to change your diets. What can you do to change your lifestyle, manage your stress? It's all about how your genes can be manipulated for their agenda. Yeah, but the question... Also, I think it is, what is the collective asking for, right? Is it just uh, one pill that fixes all without um, doing anything to, mm. to make the necessary adjustments to That's improve true. the well-being on an individual basis, right? Everything we were asking for everything to be a speed up, for the speed to be increased, for things to work a lot better, for things to do everything for us. For the savior to come and save. Exactly. Are you asking for that? So that's uh -huh. the biggest question, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of taking personal responsibility for everything that happens to us. Yes, because how the majority thinks is really um, will be represented in, in, on a global scale as of how much we're, we're allowing for this to, to, for this to, part, to, to unfold. To unfold. Exactly. Mm -hmm. At this time, and it's fascinating. Yeah, and it seems like it's like a, a soul family. Soul family. You know, think of a of one soul is is someone that we read the energy frequency of one soul that is experiencing through itself, all these different people through different bodies, right? With different it's unbelievable, um, yeah, different vessels. So Genome Canada, right? So the company overall frequency twenty. Impact on human perception, 20. This is destruction. 20 and below represents the destruction. Clarity, 100%. The company is that clear at 100%. I wish all of you clarity at 100%. Mm -hmm. Transparency, 50%. Integrity, 52%. Integrity to themselves, to the company, 100%. Integrity to others, 41%. Alignment with the Ryan Group. 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 39%. Alignment with the surveillance agenda, 100%. Oh, I'm sorry. Alignment with divine purpose, 39%. I said that, right? Alignment with its mission, 100%. Alignment with hermetic principles, 52%. And alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 54%. Mm -hmm. All right. Next is Lisa Alderson. Lisa Alderson is the CEO and co-founder of Genomi Medical Inc., a digital health company and virtual medical practice transforming the delivery of health care by enabling access to genomic-based medicine for patients everywhere. Okay. <laughs> through its nationwide network of genetic specialists and efficient genomic care delivery technology platform. Genomi, uh, Genomi Medical provides health expertise throughout the genomics journey. Mm -hmm. And uh, Ms. Alderson served as the chief commercial officer and chief strategy officer of Invitae, a rapidly growing genetic information company. It's all about the information, right? All mm. about data. It's all about stated. harvesting your DNA. Ours too. You know, uh -huh. made a mistake of doing 23andMe. To be monitored, controlled, and, and mm -hmm. pretty much, uh, yeah, telling us what to do, how to do it, when to do it, and why we should do it. No? Overall frequency of Lisa Alderson is 50. Frequency in utero, or she incarnated at the frequency of 50 and was born at the frequency of 50. Health, 50. Mind, 125. Body, 50. And soul, 20. Finances, 125. This unfulfilled uh, desire, or like addictive pattern. pattern. Creativity, 50. Relationships, 20. Personal growth, 50. Philanthropy, 20. Intuition, 30. Under intuition, Lisa has clairaudience at 30, clairsentience at 30, 
clairvoyance at 30 and claircognizance at 50. Under the intelligence aspect, Lisa has under IQ 350, EQ 50, SQ 400, and AQ 30. In the joy, 95%. In the ego, 100%, and 100% of that is the superior version of the ego. In the now, 96%. Integrity, 95%. Integrity to self, 100%. Integrity to others, 38%. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, 98%. And this is meant to be on this path, meant to create contrast, you know, to help us to awaken, you know, in, in, uh, so we can take action. Mm -hmm. Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 69%. Alignment with Orion Group, 100%. It's like they're all from the same uh, club. Mm -hmm. right? Compassion, 62%. Empathy, 80%. Energy purity, 100%. Oh, yeah, the lab. Next right, is her the, company. Her company, or the company where she is the CEO. Genome. Genome. Genome Medical Inc. Genome Medical Inc. Overall frequency 30. Impact on human perception 50. Clarity 74%. Transparency 67%. Integrity 62%. Integrity to self 100%. Integrity to others 52%. Aligning with Orion Group, 100%. Aligning with Divine Purpose, 29%. Aligning with its mission, 96%. So someone they're on target with whatever it is that they want to achieve or accomplish. Mm -hmm. Aligning with Hermetic Principles, 31%. You know, because this gathering is all about celebration. I mean, mm -hmm. Bill Gates is their keynote speaker. Mm -hmm. Aligning with Hippocratic Oath, 54%. And it is 100% under surveillance, uh, alignment with surveillance. Yes. All right. The next one is Eric Topol, T-O-P-O-L. Uh, Scripps Research Translational Institute, founder and director. Uh, he was awarded back in 2016 under President Obama's administration $207 million grant from the NIH, National Institute of Health, to lead a significant part in the precision medicine. Okay, precision medicine, remember I said that was um, under the Obama administration initiative. Uh, $35 million, again, grant uh, to promote innovation in medicine. Let's see, he also collected data and he sold all the data based on, oh, here we go. A prospective research program enrolling 1 million participants in the United States. So that's how many people enrolled in the United States. Imagine all of your data has been harvested. It's just mind blowing, right? None of us really know what we were signing up for, whether it's through 23andMe, Ancestry.com, whatever these people are doing, it's unbelievable. What I want to know for the last six, seven years, there's so much progress that has been made in the genetics, why cancer is still on the rise, why autoimmune diseases are still on the rise, and pharmaceutical companies are getting richer by the second. This is a huge question for you to really ponder upon. Creating lifetime awesome. clients. Lifetime, that's right. They're not interested in curing diseases. It's all about managing diseases. Mm -hmm. I salute and celebrate every single doctor or healthcare provider that is really fully committed to empowering their patients in healing themselves, because this is going to be the only way out. 
So Eric Topol, incarnated at the frequency of 50, born at the frequency of 20, and his overall frequency as of today is 50. Health, again, one of the top people that was awarded $207 million grant from NIH, right? Okay. He views health through the lens of 20, destruction. Mind views through the lens of 50, body, 20, soul, 20. This is, again, on a scale of 0 to 1,000. Finances he views through the lens of 50. So money doesn't influence him. Creativity, 50. Relationships, 20. Personal growth, 50. Somebody like that, right? Selling all your genetic information. I, I can't imagine, uh, well, first of all, harvesting this information and then selling it. And just so you know, the people we're revealing today are part of uh, this group of top, top scientists on this planet at the moment who have an opportunity to help humanity or to create absolute disaster moving forward. And this is what we're revealing for mm -hmm. you today. Yeah, they're on the forefront of this new yeah. technological revolution in a way, right? Revolution and evolution. And evolution. Yes, mm -hmm. and where humanity is moving forward. Relationships 20, personal growth 50, philanthropy 20, intuition 20, all four aspects under intuition is 20, clairaudience, clairsentience, clairvoyance, and claircognizance. IQ, here's another brilliant mind, 400. Just to remind you guys, you know, we did uh, generations before and also the human collective. If you remember, the average for this year, 2022, uh, IQ for human collective is 175. So can you imagine where these people are? Their IQ is truly brilliant. And this is why I say it can be used for the good, but unfortunately it's not. EQ, 20. SQ, social quotient, 250. AQ, adversity quotient, 20. It's very, he has some 20s, which are destructive patterns, right? And it could be expressed in different ways, in different characters, in different people. In the joy, he has absolute bless playing his role, 100%. In the ego, 100% out of that 100% superior. In the now, 99%. Integrity, 58%. Integrity to himself, 100%. Integrity to others, 48%. No wonder he sold the data of over a million people. God knows how many people he sold the data to or from or to whom he sold it, government. Self-awareness, 100%. Clarity, 100%. Alignment with divine purpose, again, 100%. So this guy is here to wake people up. I hope people, enough people wake up and enough really try to change it and make a difference moving forward. If we want to establish a beautiful, healthy life on this planet, or do we want to live in a surveillance state moving forward where AI is going to be controlling things? Alignment with personal purpose, 100%. Compassion, 60%. Empathy, 79%. Energy purity, 100%. Alignment with Orion Group, 100%. Again, alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 54%. I think you have the last person left, right? Last one on the yes, list. Yes, in his company. Mm -hmm. okay. Francis Arnold. Professor of Chemical Engineering, Bioengineering and Biochemistry at the California Institute of Technology. Mm -hmm. Francis was recently appointed co-chair of the Presidential Council of Advisors for Science and Technology by President Biden. Arnold received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2018 for pioneering directed enzyme evolution methods, uh -huh. co-inventor on more than 60 issued US patents and active in technology transfer. Uh, Arnold co-founded Jibo Inc. in 2005 to make fuels and chemicals from renewable resources. And, and well, the list goes on and on. And definitely a brilliant mind. Huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Overall frequency for Francis, is 50. 
she incarnated at the frequency of 400. Well, I remember she's the one that actually uh, had to do with patents uh, related to GMO crops. Exactly. And she's proposing that, you know, this is moving forward. This is the way out of uh, hunger and so solving world hunger is to create is uh, is to plan GMO crops. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's mm -hmm. it. This is yes. her. I remember now preparing for this episode. Mm -hmm. Don't know her personally. So vibrates at the frequency of 50 currently. Incarnated at the frequency of 400. There's, I think she's the only one who incarnated. At a higher frequency. Uh, above 200, She right? didn't come as a shadow player. Or a great awakener. Well, she's call. waking us all up still with this GMO yeah, idea. Decided to stay at the frequency of 50 and, and play that role. Mm. Was born at the frequency of 50. So was greatly impacted by whatever, Huge. you know, the, uh, her mom was experiencing during pregnancy. Dropped from 400 down to 50. When it comes to health, use health through the lens of 50. Mind, <laughs> connection to mind, 200. Body, 50. Soul, 50. Finances, 125. Creativity, 125. Relationships, 50. Personal growth, 50. Philanthropy, 50. Intuition, 50. Under intuition, she has clear audience at 50, clear sentience at 50, clairvoyance at 50, and clear cognizance at 50. Under the intelligence aspect, she has IQ at 400. Now that she has developed, yeah, established a beautiful relationship with her intellect. Right? Under EQ, the emotional quotient is 50. SQ, social quotient, is 400. So she's also very comfortable mm -hmm. to be in, in social settings. Speak or as on a stage. speaker on stage, right? Under AQ, the adversary quotient is 50. Indie joy, 51%. And that's the difference when someone incarnates at 400 and then drops at 50 and stays at 50. That is, is experiencing major contrast and resistance that impacts the level of, of, of joy. So how much they are enjoying the role that they're playing, right? So Even though she decided so to stay there, she's come to what the frequency of 50 is obvious. We can see it through her chart, but internally behind the curtains is definitely not In uh, pleasing, right? In mm -hmm. alignment. In the ego, 100%. And 100% of that is a superior version of the ego. And that is going to impact her alignment with divine purpose. We'll get there. In the now, how much time she spends in the now, in the present moment, that's also impacted by the fact that she's vibrating way below her incarnation frequency. In the now is a 52%. Integrity, how loyal and faithful she is to her truth, is 66%. Integrity to self, 91%. Integrity to others, 60%. Self-awareness, 75%. Clarity, 85%. Alignment with divine purpose. Again, we compare this to self-realization. Is 54%. Mm. More like how well she's playing the role that she decided to play from a divine perspective before she dropped into this reality. The alignment is at 54%. Alignment with personal purpose, we compare this to self-actualization, 96%. So she's somewhat pleased of what she has experienced so far or with the path that she's on, what she's currently mm -hmm. doing or not doing. Alignment with Hippocratic Oath, 57%. Alignment with Orion Group, 74%. So also shows she's not part of the group but she's playing in that club right now when it comes to her mm -hmm. the frequency right because she yeah. was she didn't incarnate at the frequency of 50 like uh, the rest of them compassion 77 percent and that is also the reason why she's out of alignment with her divine purpose huh? empathy 87 percent 
energy purity, 91%. So in her case, because she incarnated at a higher frequency, at, in this case at 400, but she's right now experiencing the 50 frequency, um, the energy purity indicates at 91% that she is uh, she needs to release some resistance somewhere or, or all over throughout her chart in order to experience the next level up, which will be the uh, level of 75 when it comes to the level of consciousness, right? When she reaches 100% under energy purity. Mm -hmm. And that completes today's episode. I hope, we hope it brings a lot of thoughts and ideas into our future, the future of humanity, the future for our children and generations to come. We are living through monumental times of when things can still be changed. The future could still be, uh, there's different paths. There's two paths, I believe. The one where the surveillance will take over and the one where humanity will really learn to be in charge yes. of and have, right? To be in charge of themselves. And there's a beautiful thing, you know, um, Dr. Bruce Lipton talks about epigenetics. I'm sure you guys have heard of epigenetics. And this is that the genes don't, don't dictate the outcome of the illness, mm -hmm. right? That it is our environment that does. So these people that we've just revealed to you, it's great that they're looking at into genetics, but unfortunately, uh, they're not looking into the science of epigenetics, how our environment which is your thoughts, your emotions, what do you eat? What do you do on a daily basis? How it can impact of what happens to the translation of your genes, right? Because your genes can either translate and create and contribute to chronic conditions or cancer, or you, the sovereign you, can contribute to a healthy lifestyle and wellness. Yes. So we hope this empowers you to really be in charge of your body, your mind, and your soul. And this, is, this information is to understand uh, where, where they stand from a consciousness perspective mm -hmm. and how they process the information and, and get a general idea of their intention of what is it that they could do uh, with this information, right? Um, and it's also very important to make decisions from from love and instead of fear so we cannot allow the information to take us to fear and stay in fear because we're really um, not going to be able to reach or access the field of answers or the field where all the solutions lie mm -hmm. yes so thank you so much again until next time Thank you.